name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is how to make a frequency separation Photoshop action on Envato Touch Plus. Although retouch is an art that requires time and skill, Photoshop actions can automate some of the repetitive tasks. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create an action in Photoshop to automate one of such tasks. Frequency separation allows you to edit the colors and textures separately to retouch the skin without turning it into a plastic mask. With a frequency separation action, you'll be able to do it much faster. Open your photo in Photoshop. Make sure your image is a background layer. If not, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. Create a new action. Give it a name. Duplicate the layer twice with Ctrl J. Name the lower layer Low Frequency and the upper one High Frequency. Hide the high frequency layer. Select the low frequency layer and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Adjust the radius to remove most of the details. We want this layer to contain colors but not texture. Show the other layer and change its blend mode to linear light. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Adjust the radius to bring the texture back. Keep it subtle, trying to avoid the glow. Click Stop Recording. The problem with this action is that every photo needs a different radius for blur and high pass. To make it more universal, check the square next to these positions on the list. Now every time you play the action, you'll be asked to adjust the radius manually. Here's where the action ends. Now you have two layers. Low frequency contains colors and high frequency contains texture. You can edit them separately. First, hide the high frequency layer. Use the healing brush tool or the clone stamp tool to replace the colors and tones that you don't want to see with colors from other areas. It may take a while, but with this method you don't have to worry about losing texture in the process. You can focus completely on the colors. Next, show the high frequency layer. Make sure that your healing brush is set to current layer only. Then repeat the process, this time filling the unwanted areas with proper texture. Again, it may be time consuming depending on the task, but here you don't need to care about the colors. You can borrow the texture from any area regardless of its background. This makes the process much easier. Now you know how to create frequency separation action in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.